Ever wondered which is more venomous, the golden poison frog or the inland taipan? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on an exhilarating journey into the world of venomous creatures. Let's start with our first contender, the golden poison frog. This little amphibian barely two inches long hails from the dense, humid rainforests of Colombia. Don't let its small size fool you though, this tiny frog is packed with enough venom to take down ten grown men. How's that for packing a punch? Its vibrant golden skin as beautiful as it is serves as a warning to predators, a deadly do not touch sign. This frog's venom, batrachotoxin, is a potent neurotoxin that can cause heart failure. Our second contender on the other hand, slithers its way from the arid landscapes of Central Australia. Known as the Inland Taipan, or the Fierce Snake, this snake is not only the most venomous snake but is considered the most venomous land snake on the planet. The venom of a single bite from this snake is potent enough to kill 100 men or 250,000 mice. This snake's venom contains a cocktail of neurotoxins, hemotoxins, and myotoxins, causing an array of symptoms from vomiting to paralysis, and if untreated, can lead to death. Both these creatures, the golden poison frog and the inland taipan, are remarkable in their own rights. They've evolved and adapted to their environments becoming not just survivors but apex predators, their venom, as deadly as it is, plays a pivotal role in their survival. It's their defense mechanism, their hunting tool, and their mark in the animal kingdom. But here's the burning question. Which one is more venomous? The frog with enough venom to kill 10 men, or the snake that can take out a hundred with a single bite? Stay tuned to find out. Meet the golden poison frog, a small creature with a deadly secret. With its vibrant hue of gold, you might be tempted to think of this frog as a treasure, but beware. For this is no ordinary amphibian. This is the golden poison frog, a creature as lethal as it is beautiful. The venom of the golden poison frog is a potent cocktail of deadly toxins, making it one of the most venomous creatures on the planet. Despite its diminutive size, often not more than two inches long, a single golden poison frog carries enough venom to kill up to 20 grown men. This venom, known as batrachotoxin, is a neurotoxin that can cause paralysis and heart failure. Unlike many venomous creatures, the golden poison frog does not deliver its venom through a bite or a sting. Instead, the venom is secreted through the skin. Any creature unfortunate enough to touch or eat a golden poison frog will be exposed to its lethal venom. The golden poison frog's venom serves a dual purpose. It is both a weapon and a shield. The venom protects the frog from predators, but it is also used as a hunting tool by local tribes. The Ambera people of Colombia have been known to use the venom of the golden poison frog to tip their blowgun darts. The venom makes these darts deadly effective, capable of killing large animals or incapacitating human enemies. Interestingly, the golden poison frog does not produce its deadly venom on its own. It is believed that the frog obtains the toxic compounds for its venom from its diet, which includes small invertebrates that produce these toxins. When kept in captivity and fed a diet devoid of these invertebrates, the golden poison frog loses its venomous properties. So the golden poison frog, a small creature of the rainforest, holds an incredible power within its tiny frame. A power that can protect and kill, a power derived from its unique diet. A tiny frog with a lethal punch indeed. But how does this compare to the venom of our snake contender? Now let's turn our attention to the inland taipan, often referred to as the fierce snake. Born and bred in the arid regions of Central East Australia, the Inland Taipan is the embodiment of stealth and deadly precision. This snake doesn't play around. When it strikes it does so with a purpose and that purpose is usually to immobilize its prey as quickly as possible. What makes the Inland Taipan really stand out in the serpentine world is its venom, a toxic cocktail that is, drop for drop, the most lethal of any snake on the planet. Just a tiny amount of this venom is enough to kill over 200,000 mice. Astoundingly, it's potent enough to take down a full-grown human in less than an hour, if left untreated. The venom of an inland taipan is a deadly blend of neurotoxins, hemotoxins, and myotoxins. Neurotoxins attack the nervous system, causing paralysis. Hemotoxins affect the blood, causing it to clot and potentially leading to organ failure. Myotoxins on the other hand target muscle tissue, leading to muscle damage and possible heart failure. But the Inland Taipan is not just about death and danger, there's a certain elegance to its deadly dance. It typically delivers multiple strikes in a single attack ensuring the venom is well distributed. It's like the snake knows exactly how potent its venom is, and it uses it to its full advantage. Interestingly, 
Despite its deadly reputation, the inland Taipan is actually quite shy and would much rather escape than confront a threat. It's only when cornered or threatened that it will strike. And when it does, the effects are nothing short of devastating. This snake is a master of its domain, a perfect blend of stealth, speed and venomous potency. It's a testament to the harsh and unforgiving environment it calls home, and a reminder of the deadly beauty that nature can produce. A truly formidable serpent. But the question remains, which of our competitors holds the title for the most venomous? It's time to answer the burning question. Which creature is more venomous? The golden poison frog and the inland taipan, both equally feared in their native habitats, are undoubtedly among the most venomous creatures on Earth. But when it comes to a head-to-head -head showdown, who takes the venomous crown? Let's start with the golden poison frog. This small amphibian carries enough venom to wipe out 10 grown men. Remarkably, this lethal potency doesn't come from the frog's diet, as with many other poisonous creatures. Instead, it seems to be a genetic trait, making the golden poison frog a truly unique venomous marvel. Now, let's consider the inland taipan, also known as the fierce snake. This snake's venom is so potent that a single bite can kill a hundred men. Unlike the golden poison frog, the inland taipan's venom is its primary weapon for both hunting and protection. It's a fast-acting neurotoxin that paralyzes and kills its prey almost instantly. Comparing these two venomous heavyweights, it's clear that the inland taipan has a more potent venom. However, venom potency is just one aspect to consider. The golden poison frog's venom may not be as potent, but it is constant, always present in the frog's skin. The inland taipan, on the other hand, can control the amount of venom it injects with each bite, often delivering a dry bite without venom when threatened. So, the golden poison frog is always venomous to the touch, while the inland taipan is venomous only when it decides to be. This makes the comparison a bit tricky, doesn't it? In terms of sheer potency, the inland taipan takes the win but considering the constant threat posed by the golden poison frog it's a close call. So there we have it, the most venomous creature between our two contenders is, well it depends on how you look at it. From a potency perspective it's the inland taipan, but from a constant danger standpoint, the golden poison frog gives it a run for its money. Our venomous journey has reached its end. We've traversed the dense jungles of Colombia, home to the golden poison frog, and we've tread lightly through the arid landscapes of Australia, where the inland taipan lurks. Two incredibly different habitats, two remarkably venomous creatures. Let's take a moment to recap. The golden poison frog with its bright warning colors and potent skin toxins is considered one of the most venomous creatures on the planet. Just one gram of its venom is potent enough to take out 20,000 mice or 10 grown men. Its venom, used for centuries by indigenous tribes to poison their blowgun darts, is a testament to the incredible adaptability and survival strategies of the natural world. On the other hand, we have the inland taipan, the world's most venomous snake. Its venom is so lethal that a single bite can kill a hundred grown men. It's a creature of extreme precision and deadly efficiency a testament to nature's unforgiving selection for survival. So, who's the most venomous? Well, while the golden poison frog's venom is incredibly potent, the inland taipan's is more lethal in terms of volume. But remember, this isn't about crowning a champion or encouraging fear. It's about fostering understanding and respect for these remarkable creatures and their vital roles in our ecosystem. Let's not forget that these creatures, while dangerous, are also integral parts of our biodiversity. Their venom, as deadly as it is, has potential uses in medical research. The golden poison frog's batrachotoxin, for instance, has been studied for its potential in creating painkillers. The venom of the inland taipan, meanwhile, is being researched for its potential in treating heart disease and diabetes. In the end, it's about acknowledging the power and adaptability of nature, and the need to respect and protect these creatures and their habitats. Remember these creatures, while fascinating, are also extremely dangerous always admire from a distance. Until next time stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of nature. So that's all from Discovery Wonder. See you next time and follow the channel.